Good evening, Mr. Gopi. I've been trying to meet you for some time. Good evening, Mr. Mohan. What about? You know I have been hospitalized and out of work for more than a month. I would like to borrow some money from you if you could help me. I have never lent any money to anybody in my life. Neither have I. I have never borrowed any money, either. Neither have I but once I had to. And I always try to live within my means. So do I. You see, Mohan, I always try to live on certain principles. Every month I save a little money so that I may never be in want. So do I, Gopi. You've known me all your life. I'm a man of few wants and I have always lived frugally. So have I. I wonder why you didn't save any money from your monthly income. But I did. If you did, you shouldn't be in difficulties now. Gopi, I did save some money every month. Then how come you need to borrow money? Gopi, you know very well that I'm not a spendthrift. But when misfortunes come, they come in battalions, not in singles. I soon ran through all my savings. I don't have much savings. I didn't have, either. The treatment was very expensive and I have used up all my savings. Now I owe Mr. Habib some money. I had to borrow from him, there was no alternative. And that was the first time I borrowed. So things aren't going too well, are they? They couldn't be worse. The best thing you can do is this. Let's go and talk to him. You can pay him in two or three installments and settle it. I hope you'll agree to it. Can you help me to settle it like that? Certainly. We don't refuse to pay. Habib is very sensible and I'm sure he'll agree to our proposal. Then shall we go right away? By all means. I'll be ready before you count ten. Hurry up or by the time we reach his house, he will have left for the club. I won't be long. Hello, gentlemen. Good evening. I've been expecting Mr. Mohan, but it is nice to see you too, Mr. Gopi. Please sit down, gentlemen. What a day it's been. Just one thing after another. Well, now let us come to the point. I understand that Mr. Mohan borrowed some money from you when he fell ill and was hospitalized. Yes, that's right. I lent him some money when he was in a tight corner. It was very kind of you. He wants to repay the money as he promised. But to do that he intends borrowing money from somebody else. Instead, I have a suggestion. What's that? Look, Mr. Habib. He is going to report for work in a day or two. If you can give him two or three months time, he'll clear your debt in installments. He had to borrow money from you out of necessity. I hope you understand the situation. As a matter of fact, I've been expecting this money and I've made some commitments. Now I have to make other arrangements. But I can't say no to you gentlemen. Through a bad time, Mohan. Well, I've known Mohan for quite a long time. He had never borrowed money from me or from anybody before. I agree to the suggestion on condition that the money is paid to me in three equated monthly installments. The first will fall due at the end of this month. Is that okay? Agreed. Thank you Mr. Habib. It's very kind of you. We're awfully sorry to have upset your plans. I don't know how to thank you Mr. Habib. I'm very grateful to you. He'll pay you the first installment at the end of this month. That's alright. Mr. Mohan, go home in peace. Bye, Mr. Habib. Thanks, once again. It's okay dude. See you later.